Some types of buyer transactions that are prohibited. One, buying and selling for someone whom upon the Jum'ah prayer is obligatory after the second event. Two, selling something to someone who will use it for sinning or in things that are haram prohibited. Three, a Muslim making a sale over the sale of his brother or buying over the purchase of his brother. Four, bay al ayna. Five, selling an item before having it in your possession. Six, selling fruits before they become ripe. The most important conditions are the first condition, al-rida, satisfaction of both parties, which is due to the statement of Allah, except it is trade among you through mutual consent. Therefore, if one is coerced into making the transaction, such as the judge forcing him for the benefit of those in debt, then it is valid. The second condition, there must not be any gharar, ambiguity, or jihada, unawareness, because the Prophet ﷺ said, prohibited bay a transaction which involves gharar, and narrated by Imam Muslim. The following types of transaction fall under this. 1. Selling a runaway slave or wandering animal. 2. Selling by saying, I will sell you one of those two items. 3. Or by saying, the amount based on the distance disposable I throw reaches, etc. 4. Selling that which one's female slave is pregnant with, or the fruits that one's tree will bear. 5. Selling that which is a pregnant one carries. Furthermore, this applies whether the gharar ambiguity is in the price or the item being sold. Third condition. The aqid, contracting party, who is someone valid, i.e. hit puberty, sensible, and sane, must own the object or have authority concerning it. The fourth condition, the condition of al-bayah transaction, also includes that it must not contain any riba, usury, or interest.